Shiva Kumar, AP, <coughs> CSC Department, Principles of Management. We are going to deep see the topic objectives. Objectives, nothing but goals, as a desired outcome or target. They guide management decisions and form the criterion against which work results are measured. This way, they are often described as essential element of planning. There are two types of objectives, stated goals and real goals. Stated goals, official statements of what an organization says and what it wants its various stakeholders to believe it's a goal or the real goal. The goals that an organization actually pursue are defined by the actions of its members. Approaching to setting a goal, traditional goal setting means and change and management by objectives. These three are the approaches <coughs> for the goal settings. Traditional goal setting is an approach to setting goals in which top managers set goals that then flow down through the organization and become sub goals for each organizational area. Mean and strain as an integrated network of goals in which the accomplishment of goals at one level serves as means for achieving the goals or end at the next level. The management of the objective is a process by of setting mutually agreed upon goals and using those goals to evaluate employees' performance. Steps in MBO. The organizational overall objective and strategies are formulated. Major objectives are allocated among divisionals and departments. Specific objectives are collaboratively set with all department members. Action plans defining how objectives are to be achieved are specified and agreed upon to managers and employees. The action plans are implemented. Progress towards objectives periodically reviewed and feedback is provided. Successful achievement of objectives are reinforced by performance-based rewards. The characteristics of well-written goal written in terms of outcomes rather than the actions, measurable and quantifiable, clear as, <coughs> clear as to a time frame, challenging yet attainable, it is written down and communicated to all necessary organizational members. Steps in goal settings. There are five steps in goal settings and the first one is review the organization's mission or purpose. A mission is a broad statement of an organization purpose that provides an overall guide to the what organization members think it is important. The managers review the mission before writing goals because the goal should reflect that mission. Second one is to evaluate available resources. Even though the goal should be challenging, they should be realistic. After all, if the resource you have to work with won't allow you to achieve a goal, no matter how hard you try or how much of it is exerted, you shouldn't set this goal. Third one is to determine the goals individually or without input from the others. The goal reflects desired outcomes and should be convergent with the organizational mission and goals in other organizational areas. This goal should be measurable, specific and include a time frame for accomplishment. Write down the goals and communicate them to all who need to know. Writing down and communicating goals focus people to think them through the return goal also become visible evidence of importance of working towards some things. Review results and whether goals are being met. If goals aren't being met, change them as needed. Thank you.